It's no secret that parrots are among the animal kingdom's most chatty animals. They can mimic other birds' calls, and some species can even copy human speech well enough to form full-on sentences. But when Polly asks for a cracker, does she really know what she's saying? Like, humans can parse the verbs from nouns in a given sentence and know exactly what the word cracker means and all of that, but how much of that is true for birds? Turns out, science can help us figure out what Polly really wants. We humans want to believe parrots can talk, since, like, it would just be really cool if there was some animal other than us that could. But while parrots do use imitation to communicate, it's a little different from actual speech. The birds use copied verbalizations with humans and with each other. Copying the call of another bird seems to be a great way to get its attention. Like, if you were at home alone and you heard a voice that sounded exactly like you, that's the kind of thing you would, like, definitely notice. Also, when you live in a flock with up to 100 other birds and they're all wearing the same colors, knowing how to imitate the bird you most want to talk to can be a handy way to find them in the crowd. You could even call it a kind of naming. Each parrot's name becomes the sound it makes, so imitating the sound is like calling the parrot's name. That's kind of remarkable because naming is something we usually associate with humans. But parrots are like us in other ways too. Like humans, they have really complex brains with a lot more neurons than most animals their size. In fact, scientists say a parrot brain has about as many neurons as some primates do. And like most humans, parrots are also very social animals. They'll play with each other well into adulthood and get pretty chatty about starting a party. Parrots have a play call, which is a lot like contagious laughter in humans. You know, kind of like when you hear other people laughing and you join in too, even if you don't fully get the joke. And any parrots hearing the call will often just initiate play with other birds that happen to be nearby, even if they weren't playing yet either. It isn't really an invitation to play, it's just an announcement. We're playing and you should play too! And like people, parrots don't do well when they're isolated. But if they're lonely and have the right setup, they can even figure out how to video call with other parrots. This need for social interaction could also be why they form a strong bond with their human caretakers. In the wild, they show preference toward communicating with their mates and their own close relatives like siblings. When they're young, they answer to the calls of their siblings more so than the calls of random other birds. But as they get older, they spend more time calling out to their mates, and even start sounding more like them too. Essentially, parrots that spend a lot of time together quickly end up taking on similar vocabulary to one another, kind of like you and your best friend might. So we do know some things about how parrots communicate in the wild, but that doesn't necessarily tell us how much of human speech they understand. They're great at mimicking us saying words, but it's been less clear whether or not they understand just what those words mean. And as it turns out, most of them only sorta do. For most species, Copying human words is just rote imitation. When they have time and opportunity, they can learn to ascribe meanings to the words they use, although it's often more of an association with context than a true understanding of the words. For example, Polly might say she wants a cracker because she knows you will give her food when she repeats that phrase. But she probably doesn't understand the meaning of want or that a cracker is a specific thing. This is pretty similar to how you train any other animal, by rewarding the behavior you want to see. When researchers have worked with gray parrots though, and I mean like eight hours a day, five days a week kind of work, they found that their birds can learn to understand words and even develop the ability to link words together to make phrases. But this is hardly something they'd do in the wild. Being with humans just gives an unusually smart animal an opportunity to absorb information in a completely unnatural way. Regardless of whether Polly understands that a cracker is a tasty treat or just wants to get your attention, it's a privilege to know that parrots are so keen to sound like us. Because it's not just about copying Copying us, it's also about bonding with us. So, in a parrot's case, imitation really is the sincerest form of flattery. Thanks so much for watching, and a huge special thanks to our pandemonium of patrons. Pandemonium is the, the group word for parrots. Supporting us on Patreon helps us make videos like this, and we couldn't keep doing it without you. Our patrons also get access to a whole bunch of perks, like blooper reels, a patron-exclusive podcast, a private Discord server, and more. So if any of that sounds like something you're interested in, head to patreon.com dot com slash scishow to learn more.